It's time to continue a narrative from last week, which I'm sure a lot of you have been curious about updates on, and a few odds and ends here and there. It's time for another week of This Week with Big C. So obviously last week kind of ended in a uh, little more serious note than what I would like to normally end an episode on, but had to be done because, you know, when something major like that happens to your life, you have to cover it for a show about your life. So yeah, um, but we have some major updates on that. So that's mostly what this week is going to be focused on is updates with my dad and a few other odds and ends here and there, but mostly it's going to be updates on my dad so just keep that in mind um but yeah so let's not waste any time and let's get to the recap where i'll share everything that's gone on over the past couple weeks hey everybody it is monday um as you can see i'm a little disheveled i've uh had a lot going on in the last couple days so just to give you all an update um i know i kind of ended last week's episode on a cliffhanger um, with my dad, but um, to give you a full idea of what happened, uh, apparently Saturday morning, um, my dad woke my brother up because he had a stroke. So my brother took him immediately to the hospital, uh, and you know he he's been there the last couple days. I actually went up late last or uh, Saturday night uh, so that I could spend pretty much all day Sunday with him. So I was there on Sunday, um, and he's he's doing well. He's recovering pretty well. Um, thankfully, it only appeared to be the left side of his face as well as his left hand. Nothing else was really affected. So, and he's already recovering pretty quickly from that. Like, it started off really bad, but, I mean, just in the time that I spent with him, it was becoming a lot easier to understand him when he was talking. Um, it was also a lot, um, it became a lot easier for him to use his hand because he's been practicing using his hand um, a lot. So he's doing well. Uh, today he actually texted me a full like sentence. I'm assuming he's, you know, because before he had trouble with texting, but he seems to be doing a lot better on that too. So things seem to be improving. Um, I left yesterday feeling very optimistic that things are gonna be okay. So my brother is at, down there with him now. Um, I think he's getting transferred to a um, rehab facility so that he can you know, recover fully. Uh, we're not sure how long he's gonna be there. We're hoping not too long, especially because he seems to be pretty rapidly recovering, but We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's been going on. And that's also why uh, the last episode of this week was delayed. Is because I, I didn't have time to edit it. Because I literally, as soon as I got off work, I left uh, to go to St. Pete on Saturday night. And then I was in St. Pete most of Sunday. So family comes first. And uh, I'm just glad that my dad is doing okay. That he's recovering. Um... And I know he watches these videos, so, um, Dad, I'm just glad you're okay. Um, obviously, all of us are. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad he's good. So, that's that's what's going on. I have to work in about 45 minutes, so better grab some lunch and uh, get ready to work. Hey, everybody, it is Wednesday. Yeah, the week continues. Uh, it's been rough the last couple days because every day around, you know, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning... It just sounds like World War III outside because there's a lot of construction going on on the roof of my apartment building. So it sucks that they have to start it this early, but I mean, hopefully they'll be done soon because I'm really tired of having to constantly hear banging and racket outside. It's uh, quite disrupting, but you know, it is what it is. So I got that going on. Um, in terms of dad, he's doing okay. He's still in the hospital. They're trying to get him transferred soon to a rehab facility 
but they're just trying to work it out with his insurance as well as, um, you know, just general, general health stuff. So hopefully they'll be able to get him over, um, there soon. I did talk to him yesterday. Um, he's improving pretty substantially in terms of him being able to speak. So that's great. Um, it's, I can definitely have like a, a, a pretty normal conversation with him and can understand most of what he's saying. So that's really, really good. And he's, he's gotten several exercises that he's using, um, in order to improve his speech as well. So that's very, very good. But yeah, um, other than that, not a whole lot has been going on. Just working, uh, doing what I can. Uh, today is my last day of the fiscal month, so I need to to kick it in overdrive and do really well today. Uh, so hopefully, I'll have a have a good day at work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Not a whole lot. Uh, not much planned at this point either. Uh, I might try to go to HHN next week. We'll see. But I don't know. It'll just depend on a few factors. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what's going on today. Not Nothing too crazy. Hey everybody, it is Thursday. Um, just want to give you a little bit of an update on my dad. I know this, this episode is probably going to be mostly that. But every now and again I might have something a little more exciting. Um, but anyway, my dad uh, went to the rehab facility yesterday. So he's finally out of the hospital. Into a slightly different hospital, but still. Um... And he had his first rehab session today already. Um, so, and that's going well. Um, according to the doctor, apparently he might be out of there as soon as like mid to late next week. So hopefully we're in the home stretch. Um, I'm just happy that he's doing well. Every time I call him and I talk to him, it's becoming easier and easier to understand him. Cause you know, if you've never talked to somebody who's had a stroke, um, especially you know, if, if it involves their face, it becomes pretty difficult to understand them when they talk. Um, it basically sounds like they're drunk, kind of, or like really, really sleepy. And that's becoming less and less of a problem the more I talk to dad. So that's really, really good. Um, so I'm just happy that he's recovering, he's getting better. And hopefully in the next few days, he'll be able to go home and, uh, you know, get back to, back to doing what he does. So yeah, we'll see. Um, but that's, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I don't really have any plans today for my day off. I'm just kind of chilling. I think Matt and I are going to go see, uh, Black Adam tonight. So that's something I'll probably do a 15 second review on that. I know I said last episode I was going to do one on Werewolf by Night, and I forgot. Um, I might still do it, but I feel the uh, the window that that video would have done well is probably passed, but we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on, so we'll see what happens. So, one final bit of, I guess, good luck that happened to me today. Uh, I went to Walmart to do my grocery shopping, and I happened to stumble upon a... Uh, Elite Trainer Box for Evolving Skies for Pokemon, which if you don't know, Evolving Skies is a very, very desired set because it can have some of the most expensive and rare cards in the game. So I bought it because it was the last one on the shelf, and uh, in my first pack, I pulled this. Now, if you've watched our unboxing Pokemon episodes, you probably recognize this. Matt pulled this for our anniversary, or... Uh, thousand subscriber celebration video and i was very upset because this card is worth 200 dollars, <laughs> but i pulled one <laughs> so that means i get all the money <laughs> and actually i already sold it so i sold it on ebay for 210 so this card not only pays for the etb it pays for my groceries and i get a hundred dollars back in profit can't go wrong there very nice card i kind of wish i could keep it but i'd rather take the hundred bucks so pretty happy hey everybody it is wednesday and i just got some absolutely fantastic news and that is my dad is being discharged from his rehab facility so he's finally gonna get to go home um i've i've called him literally every day this week um just to check in and make sure he's doing okay he's been improving drastically so i'm just absolutely thrilled that he finally gets to go home and uh Obviously, he's not 100% better. Um, 
still has some recovery to do, but he's been improving drastically. He can definitely function on his own now. Um, so that's great. So yeah, he gets to go home finally. Um, it's great for him and it's great for us because that means, you know, he'll be, he'll be home and he'll be okay. So just wanted to share that uh, we finally got the news that my dad's going to be going home. So yay for that. Hello, everybody. It is Friday. Uh, I just got back from a surprise dinner with my dad and my brothers. Um, we decided we wanted to celebrate my dad getting out of the hospital by having a nice dinner. So um, my brother drove down here, picked up my other brother, and we all went to Smoky Bones for dinner. It was a good time. Got to spend some time with dad, of course, and uh, it was good, so I'm glad we got to do it, and uh, it was a nice meal, of course, as well. We had a really great server, so. It was a good time. I did think about filming some footage from it, but again, it was kind of a family thing, so I didn't want to dive too deep into it, but uh, it was a good time, so I'm glad we got to do it. And uh, now I'll get to see my dad again in a few weeks for Thanksgiving, which we already kind of mapped out what we're planning on doing, so that's good. But yeah, that's... Uh, Pretty much what's going on. Uh, yesterday I went for the final time to HHN. You're no the in the yeah. Awesome. And you'll see some videos. Uh, you probably have already seen the one video on this channel. Of course, I uploaded another video to the uh, Thrill Seekers channel for the HHN. Um, so it was a good time. Uh, had a had a pretty solid last couple days. So now I have to go back to work tomorrow morning. Uh, get kind of into a normal schedule, at least for the next few weeks. And then, uh, of course, Thanksgiving is coming up fairly soon. So. That's good, but yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. Now let's get to a preview of one of our upcoming videos. And we've been kind of trying to release Halloween videos all week, including we have a big one coming on Halloween day. And uh, let's give you a preview of that one. Every year for Halloween, Mountain Dew has released a Mountain Dew Voodoo flavor which is a mystery flavor inspired by classic Halloween candies. Well, in the year 2022, Mountain Dew decided, you know what? Why confine this to just one year when we can re-release all of the voodoo flavors from years past? So today, I'm going to be trying every single Mountain Dew voodoo flavor, starting from 2019 and going all the way to 2022 where I will not only reveal what I think in terms of the flavor, but also rank them. It's time for the ultimate Mountain Dew Voodoo taste test. That's gonna do it for this episode of This Week with Big C. Now, I did wanna mention, I am gonna be releasing a video probably in the next week that's gonna be uh, talking about some, some stuff regarding this channel and uh, possibly the future, so. Be sure to watch that when it comes out because how folks react as well as how um, that video is received is really going to impact things. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, new videos on this channel are three days a week unless there are bonus videos, which there have been a lot of those. So hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. Now see you in two weeks for the next episode of This Week with Big C. Bye. <laughs>